Right, new details tonight on that Missouri teen accused of ramming the White House barricades with a U-Haul truck, then getting out and waving a Nazi flag and saying he wanted to seize the government. A federal judge just ordered 19 year old Cy Kandula held as a flight risk. Our Bruce Lashan was in the courtroom at the time and joins us live from the federal court. So Bruce, you saw and you heard everything in that courtroom today and you said it's pretty strange. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Leslie, this case just continues to get stranger. Prosecutors say Kandula, who graduated last year from a high school in Missouri, is neither a U.S. citizen nor a lawful permanent resident. They didn't say where exactly he is a citizen of. But that situation, along with his alleged threats and this crime of violence, was enough for the judge here to order him held. Kandula allegedly rammed a White House barricade with a rented U-Haul, sending pedestrians on the sidewalk running for cover. Then the Secret Service says he backed up and did it again. Investigators say he waved a Nazi flag, expressed admiration for Hitler and eugenics, and said he was willing to kill the president to seize the government, outlining details of a six-month plot in a green notebook. The Secret Service said it planned to charge him with threatening to kill the president. But in court, prosecutors are still only charging him with one count of depredation of government property, the barricade he allegedly rammed, a charge that could earn him 10 years in prison. Seemingly alert and coherent, Kandula looked around the courtroom and talked intently with his federal public defender but she says he can't see much. She says the Secret Service took his glasses. FBI agents searched his suburban St. Louis home. Friends from high school where he played tennis and was on the student council remember him as quiet and mild-mannered. The alleged attack on the White House, a complete surprise. Now, there have been lots of questions about Kandula's mental health, but neither the prosecutor nor his public defender said anything in the courtroom here today about getting him evaluated. Leslie and Zoe, back to you guys. Yeah, we'll see if anything comes of that part of this journey as well. Bruce, thank you.